Nokia Lumia 525 is the successor to the most popular and cheapest Windows phone Nokia Lumia 520. The Nokia Lumia 525 also promises to be a great gaming smartphone that gives you HD level of gaming with its powerful 1GB of RAM. And the difference between the Nokia Lumia 520 and the 525 is the 1GB of RAM in the 525 while the 520 has a 512 MB of RAM. But does that make any difference or is it the old wine in, exp in an expensive bottle and how does it compare to a similar spec Android device? This is the Gadget Nerd reporting here. What's going on everybody? And today we will take a look at the Nokia Lumia 525 gaming capabilities and we'll also be comparing the gameplay experience with a similarly spec Android phone. So before I begin this video, I would like to thank Gotham from GND Geek Tech channel as he helped me making this video possible. And guys, this video can be a bit lengthy because we ran 14 games on the Nokia Lumia 525 to give you a detailed video. So if you are here for a particular game, you can easily find the timestamps to all the games that I have tested in the description box down below. So just sit back, relax and enjoy this video. Let's start with the benchmarks, though we do not believe in benchmark scores. For the benchmark, we choose the WP Bench 3. The score we get is 176.72. It is a decent score considering the price of this phone. Now let's start with the gaming. First game that we choose is Hill Climb Racing. So Hill Climb Racing played perfect on the Nokia Lumia 525. Touch response was also excellent with no issues whatsoever. Comparing the gameplay with an Android phone of similar specifications, the game performed perfect on both the smartphones. We faced zero lags and while playing the game on both of, both of the smartphones. Take a look at the gameplay. Now moving on to the next game, this is the all time favorite Survey Surfers. Survey Surfers played great on the Nokia Lumia 525. The gameplay is decent and the touch responsiveness is awesome. Big thanks to the super sensitive touch screen found on the Nokia Lumia 525. The gameplay looks a bit more smoother on the similar spec Android device. The overall graphics look more good on the Android device. It's not that much of difference but if we look closely we can see that the gameplay is a bit more smoother on the Android device. As the game progresses on the Nokia Lumia 525 the gameplay tends to get smoother. Watch a bit of the gameplay. Now let's take a look at Rail Rush. Rail Rush played perfectly fine on the Nokia Lumia 525. The gameplay is smooth, graphics are great and no lags. Gameplay on the Android device was also very smooth and no lags. Take a look at the gameplay. Now let's check out Temple Run 2. On the Lumia 525 we noticed peering down of menus in the Temple Run 2 game. We also tried in reinstalling the game again but that didn't fix this issue. We also tried factory set resetting and that also did not fix this issue as well. So this was something from the developer's side. Apart from this, talking about the gameplay, Temple Run 2 ran perfectly fine. We did not face any lags or frame drops. Everything was smooth, frame rates were great, 
and the touch responsiveness was awesome. Comparing it with the Android device, both of the smartphones ran this game perfectly. Take a look at the gameplay. Darklands is another fun game for the Windows Phone platform. It is a great game with minimalistic graphics, looks and plays really nice on the Nokia Lumia 525. Now you can watch a bit of the gameplay. Moving on to the next game that is Fruit Slash. Fruit Slash is a game like Fruit Ninja. We did not face any issue while playing this game. It ran really smooth, graphics were perfect and everything was perfect without any issues. You can watch the gameplay. Oops. Now it is another really basic and addicting fun game. It played out to be excellent on the Nokia Lumia 525. And I don't know how to spell this. Uh, you can watch a bit of its gameplay. Now we will playing a uh, Doom 3 on the Nokia Lumia 525. Doom 3 ran smoothly on the Nokia Lumia 525. We could see a little bit of hiccup, hiccup at times but that won't affect the gameplay. And comparing it to the Android uh, phone, the Android ran the game really smoothly and we faced no hiccups or lags. And you can watch a bit of the gameplay. Now we will be testing Minion Rush. Minion Rush played really smooth on the Nokia Lumia 525. The graphics were great and the gameplay was overall smooth. And on the Android device, Minion Rush lagged a little bit at first but after that it played smoothly. Watch the gameplay. Now let's move on to a graphically intensive game called Asphalt 7 Heat. Playing Asphalt 7 Heat on the Nokia Lumia 525 was great. There were no lags or frame rate drops. Everything was smooth. Touch response was also excellent. If we compare the gameplay to a similar spec Android phone, then we can clearly see that the graphics are much more better on the Android phone. But it's choppy and laggy on the Android phone, but 
3D graphics on the Android 4 uh, phone are excellent. Watch a bit of the gameplay. Now we are gonna take a look at a game called Dungeon Hunter 4 or oh, Dungeon Hunter 4. Dungeon Hunter 4 ran well. It was very smooth and fun to play. On Android the 3D graphic quality was far more better and the gameplay experience was far more better. Though we didn't face any lag or issue on Windows Phone uh, platform but still the graphics were better on the Android. Overall gameplay quality was uh, also better on the Android. Watch a bit of the gameplay. Let's move on to a popular FPS game, also known as Modern Combat 4. Modern Combat 4 also played really decent. The touch response was really good, uh, gameplay was a bit choppy at times but it was playable. The graphics were also great, phone was registering touch well, so it was quite playable but not the smoothest of all. Watch the gameplay. Now let's take a look at the last game of this video and the most popular racing game 
Ugly Asphalt 8. We really enjoyed playing this game on the Nokia Lumia 525. This game was very playable. Graphics were great. We could notice a little bit of hiccups at times. The game was very playable, no issues while drifting. Touch response was also very good. But it was not the smoothest of all. On the other hand, the game was incompatible with our Android phone. So that's a plus point to the Nokia Lumia 525. Watch the gameplay. We also tried playing Nova 3, but it shows us this error every time we tried to download it. It was stuck in between and if we do manage to download it, we will surely be making a separate video on Nova 3 gameplay on Nokia Lumia 525. Now here's our verdict. So we found out that the Adreno 305 GPU is really capable of gaming and we have seen better gaming on this GPU. In high-end graphic intensive games, we saw that the quality of gameplay was better on Android and this has to do with the app development, the quality of apps and the regular updates. Playing games, basic games was no such issue. We also noticed that we could not store apps or games to the SD card. So the storage that we have inbuilt is the storage, storage we can use for apps and the inbuilt storage is less. So the question is. Should I buy the Nokia Lumia 525 if I am a gamer? I would say if you are on a tight budget and want the best smartphone for gaming under 10k and also if you are if you like the simplicity of Windows Phone 8 OS then definitely this has to be the best smartphone for gaming under 10k as of now. If you play basic games like Subway Surfer then the Nokia Lumia 525 is also a great deal. If you can extend your budget up to 15k and if you are a hardcore gamer then I would suggest you to wait for the Moto G and it's going to launch really soon in India. So the Nokia Lumia 525 is a great buy at the price offered and if you are also looking forward uh, to get uh, into Windows Phone OS then it can be a great device for you to start with. And that pretty much wraps up my long gaming review of the Nokia Lumia 525. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. It really helps me. And also check out Gotham's channel as he got some really great cinematic tech videos that you may like. And yes every link will be in the description so make sure that you check the description. And thanks a lot for watching this video.